Hi, this is Ji Niu from Rux University. The high prevalence of eating disorder and obesity result in the range of negative health and socioeconomic consequences for modern society. Recently, analogs of GLP-1 are being used clinically as therapy to combat obesity. In the central nervous system, GLP-1 is mainly produced by pre proglucagon neurons in the solitary tract of brainstem, which we call the GCG neurons. This combination of neurons send a robust projection to many brain regions, including paraventricular nucleus of hypothalamus, which is highly related to the recognition of food intake. However, the intracellular signal pathway of GLP-1 in the brain is not clear yet. We aim to elucidate the molecular basis of how endogenous GLP-1 functions in the brain to control food intake. Hi, my name is Christy Condi from Rutgers University. To manipulate the endogenous GLP-1 expressing neuronal activity, we collaborated with Dr. Scott from Virginia University and obtained recently generated GCG cream mice. We found that the activation of GCG neurons dramatically increases the CFOS expression in the PVN, which indicates a functional connection between GLP-1 and PVN neurons. First, we infected GCG neurons with channel rhodopsin and labeled CRH neurons by Cree-dependent expression of TD tomato. Then we cut live hypothalamic slices and found many GCG neuronal afferents are closely located with CRH neurons. Then we recorded EPSCs and found a time-locked light-evoked event suggesting a direct synaptic contact between GCG neurons and CRH neurons. Similarly, we used optogenetic technology to investigate the feeding behavior. Again, we infected GCG neurons with channel rhodopsin, which send projections to the PVN. Then we implanted an optic fiber, which delivered blue light locally to the PVN. We found the channel rhodopsin group decreased food intake when compared to the control group. We also found GLP-1 increases CRH neuronal activity, which is mediated by the AMPA receptor subunit GLUA1 because GLP-1-induced postsynaptic effect can be blocked by GLUA1 blocker. Our in vitro biochemistry study showed GLP-1 can rapidly increase GLUA1 serine 845 phosphorylation, then promote its membrane trafficking. In conclusion, Neurotransmission is mediated by presynaptic neurotransmitter release and postsynaptic receptors. When GLP-1 binds to its receptor coupled to GS protein, then stimulates PKA EPAC pathway, but only the PKA pathway contributes to AMPA receptor subunit GLUA1 phosphorylation. We found a great increase of GLUA1 phosphorylation at S845 site. The phosphorylated GLUA1 promotes its membrane trafficking, which results in the strengthening of postsynaptic neuronal activity, in this case, the CRH neuron.